Hi everyone, this is Victoria Fashion and welcome back to my channel. I have not done a sit down video in quite some time. Frankly, I have been having a writer's block. I have been just really trying to center myself again. Upon centering myself, I realized, hey, let me talk about solitude. And this is something that's been very important to me and it is important to build a relationship with solitude. Here are some of the lessons that I have learned having a great relationship with solitude. Being alone with solitude. Being alone is being in solitude. Being lonely is suffering from loneliness. Being alone, meaning being one with solitude, being comfortable with yourself, with your own company, and truly becoming your own best friend or your companion. Life as a child has forced me to love my solitude. And growing up, I often felt like an outsider. It didn't help that I was a misfit and a black sheep in my environment. I simply just didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. And this is something that I have always felt for a very long time. Being an outsider has forced me to basically decorate my internal world just growing up as a child, I just simply had a vivid and wild imagination. In order for me to constantly stimulate that aspect of myself, I was attracted to books, cinema, music, and even adventures. So with that being said, I always felt like, even though I know it's not true, it's just, I just felt very unwanted um, most of my life because I always did feel so different. This was even before I became into the goth subculture and immersed myself in that world. The circumstances of growing up, I always felt alone and that became my safe haven, is being alone. It made me feel at peace when I'm around people. Always feel like I have to have my guard up. I don't really trust people, but over time I am learning to have more trust in people because there are good people out there. And being alone gave me a sense of peace, a peace that I'm always desiring, I'm always craving for. But now as an adult, that hasn't changed. And I think that just being an introvert naturally is going to just be a part of who I am. So now as an adult, aside from what solitude provides, which is peace, it also provides stillness for me. And what stillness does, which I often preach in this channel, is is it gives me a sense of having moments of reflection, asking myself questions such as how can I show up for myself but also for others? What are some qualities that I can improve in my daily life? I ask myself those questions because I think it's important for me to, especially that I'm trying to grow as a person and have and practice a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. Also, I tend to like to work independently. That's always been something natural for me. A smaller group. I cannot be surrounded with too many people. If it's more than five people, I'm officially checked out. It overwhelms me. However, as time went on, getting involved with toxic individuals or just simply the wrong crowd, it led to my downfall, which is feeling lonely and having this void of loneliness that grew bigger. Because despite the fact that I like my solitude, I still like forming and connections and building a bond. I do enjoy having long-term friendships. I do enjoy embracing my friendships because they mean so much to me. Being involved with the wrong individuals, meaning this is mostly anybody I've dated or people that I've that I've had interest in or I've been in relationships, they have made me feel more lonely than being by myself. And I know the reason why, unfortunately, I choose these partners is because it's just a familiarity. And, and I told myself, I will never be with somebody who makes me feel lonely. That is the worst feeling you could ever experience is somebody you share in the same bed with the person you love and they make you feel the most loneliest person in the world. A way to look out for people who make you feel lonely is not being seen or heard. 
people not listening to you or even having a sense of understanding and compassion towards you people who are very narrow-minded about 33 percent of americans experience loneliness loneliness is a disease and sometimes we choose to poison ourselves subconsciously because of programming people pleasing fitting in groups or subgroups where you don't belong outgrowing friendships and family and just remember loneliness is the disease solitude is necessary you're never truly alone when you start learning the power of bracing solitude you start realizing you're never really alone you start enjoying the present moment and immersing yourself what's here and what's now and being in the present moment and it's one of the most it's beautiful and i say that because you can start hearing the wind the trees whistling hearing birds sing you really start seeing feeling and opening up your senses and understanding your environment as well and that's a way for you to develop stillness no distractions just simply being in the present in the space where you're at and you really start when you start realizing how you're never truly alone especially living in a city you start developing more clarity less anxiety and having a sense of calmness stillness is something to be practiced on a daily basis whether if it's one minute 10 minutes or an hour I tend to practice stillness aside from gratitude because it makes me value what I have right now. It makes me value the present moment and what truly matters in life. And what matters in life is right now because you will never have this time again. The most valuable asset in your life is time. Time is something you can never gain back. So enjoy the present moment. I see a lot of people on social media and even in real life scared of going to go eat by themselves. I never really understood that. Introversion and being one with solitude is it comes very natural for me. However, one of my subscribers did mention that the reason why people are afraid of eating by themselves is actually because they're afraid of judgment like i said it's a very foreign concept for me for people to be afraid of going out by themselves and going out on a date mind you there's a lot of strength not meeting anybody of going out by yourself going to go eat on your favorite restaurant without meeting another person's company when you go out by yourself you are in full control of what you want to do you want to go out on a date go ahead you could be spontaneous you don't have to plan things out not rely on people's schedules neither and one of the ways to make make it a lot more enjoyable to go out by yourself bring a journal listen to your favorite podcast or listen to music or even call somebody one of your friends or your family members and see like how things are going or your partner and there's so much freedom of not caring of other people's judgment after all never really see those people if you go out by yourself you won't see those people unless if they're if it's like a favorite restaurant that you'd like and you see the waiters but other than that you're not really gonna see people and hey that gives you an opportunity to meet people as well it's kind of like a very it's very spontaneous but hey sometimes in life best things it's when life surprises you don't what I'm trying to say, don't be robbed by living your best life. Being single for a long period of time made me appreciate my alone time. What was different because even though I've been sing I have been single, I gave myself an opportunity to see what's out there in the market and i realized i really do miss my alone time a lot more and i am embracing it so much more now and even though this video is discussing about solitude i do want to say i am a person that prefers long-term relationships i prefer monogamy and commitment and i've always been either i'm in a relationship or i'm not i started talking more to 
potential prospects and suitors i took it as a lesson that to get to know myself on a deeper level and i've realized i value my solitude i cannot be with somebody who doesn't give me that time to be by myself and i really missed being alone and i said it is my safe i've come to realize i really do value my solitude and it's something that i really need in my life i cannot be just thinking about another person constantly which i promised myself from my last relationship i will always have a big part of myself for me and the love that i have for another being i'm gonna share that love and we're gonna share this love what we have together it's not going to be me giving all myself to this person it also made me realize that i need to be with somebody that is a lot more secure with themselves someone that is ve more is very confident and is not very egotistical not only respects themselves but respects myself me and the alone time that i need and even then it's better to f if you really want to go on a hero's journey on a healing journey on a fool's journey you really have to dedicate your time to really be alone and really want to get to know yourself on a deeper level and unlock your subconscious because even though your conscious is consciousness is very active during the day you could learn learn a lot about yourself by tapping through your subconscious which it usually is alive it usually comes alive when you sleep and dream. Facing who you are, it's about facing your shadow self, what you also have suppressed for so long. With that being said, it could also break your ego. And with with ego, ego never wants to face vulnerability. But there's so much courage in vulnerability. That is where you could really find your authentic self and learning to love even the most ugliest parts of yourself and if there's something you want to change about yourself for example you don't know how to be by yourself how can you grow how can you grow if you're not giving your opportunity to get to know yourself adapting into different situations you can show up and help others but it's important to help yourself first knowing yourself is the best investment you can ever do in your life and that's something you will never regret it gives you time to reflect accept grow and choose who has access or doesn't have access in your life don't be afraid to be alone learn to love yourself all of you even your flaws they are yours after all find beauty and imperfections your in your external world and your internal world don't think of solitude as a scary concept think of it as an adventure an adventure to go down this rabbit hole of knowing who you are show up for yourself and not only that but if you don't fill your own cup how can you fill somebody else's cup don't be afraid of solitude that is the key for you to really love yourself. I love you guys very much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.